People used to be bored and tired of normal life, which was too much busy. And many of them suffered from heavy workload, stress, depression, finding too little time to spend with their family members and for their own interests. But the situation is much different this year. Millions of people around the world are at home. And they have too much free time, which they do not even know what to do with. And there is a question. Why? All these changes are because of the emergence of coronavirus, the disease which is officially named like COVID-19. I'm now going to introduce you this illness since we are all familiar with the latest news about the coronavirus. So the thing which I'm going to concentrate on is the positive and the negative outcomes of the pandemic and the possible solutions of the problem. Now let's see. Hey, stop. Can you see any kind of positive this year? Sure, there are so many of them. As we know, the most visible response of the governments was quarantining. While people have been restricted from meeting each other, the crowded places like pits, airports and entertaining places have become entirely empty. Moreover, toxic gas producing factories stopped working. And restaurants where almost 30% of produced food used to be thrown away have been closed. And as a result, the immune system of the nature started to work, and the problems like air pollution, environmental destruction have somehow mitigated. However, the negativities are unbearable. The temporary closure of the businesses has caused a sharp economic decline, not to mention an unprecedentedly huge unemployment rate. And lastly, panic. The problem is serious, but still it's possible to eradicate the existing issue and prevent the further one. I have three exact solutions and suggestions. The first one is for ordinary people like us, and the second one is for the governments, and the third one is for the scientists. The only thing that's required from us is observing hygiene. Firstly, we have to wash our hands regularly with soap for the duration of at least 20 seconds. Secondly, we should wear face masks before going out in order to prevent the spread of the virus through our nose and mouth. Lastly, our homes and outer clothes should be kept clean. These simple and easy rules can really save our lives. And the second solution is for governments. They should be as strict as possible. For example, in the United States, where the people have too much human rights, the illness has been spreading in an unprecedentedly high rate. And in one video, I have seen the American population holding tablets and shouting, give me the right of suffering from the virus. Give me the right of suffering from the virus. I don't want to stay at home. What? I think in this rate, we can never stop the virus from spreading. And lastly, it is for scientists to untie the knot. I mean, they have to unravel the origin of the illness, since knowing where the pandemic starts is a way to prevent the next one. I really hope we will really soon overcome these challenging days, working together under one umbrella since the power is in unity. So that's all for me now. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself and your beloved people.